Good day, my name is Tavan Duba. I am a medical scientist working in the immunology and microbiology section. I studied BSc Medical Sciences for my undergraduate degree at the University of Limpopo and specialized in medical microbiology for my postgraduate degree at the University of Pretoria. Currently, we are busy with a research title, The Assessment of Ultraviolet Germicidal Irradiation Technology, which is known as UVGI, for controlling airborne mycobacterium tuberculosis, which is also known as MTB, exposure in healthcare facilities in South Africa. The objectives are as follows. The first one is to conduct a walkthrough inspection in various public health care facilities, which include the tertiary, district, regional, and primary health care clinics. The second one is to ascertain data on specific UVGI installations used currently in public health care settings, including maintenance records. The third one, to measure the light intensity, brightness, which we call it the irradiance of the UVGI units currently installed in public health facilities. And the fourth one, to sample for airborne MTB in areas with and without UVGI installation, as well as, the, as to detect and quantify total airborne MTB from collected samples using molecular techniques, which we call it real-time PCR. Uh, tuberculosis, which we call it TB, is a major global health issue. According to World Health Organization, there are 8.8 .8 million new active TB cases worldwide every year and nearly 2 million TB deaths. South Africa has the third highest burden of disease in the world after India and China, with an estimated incidence of 450,000 cases of active TB in 2013. TB has also become the leading cause of death among people with HIV. While it is very important to invest in TB treatment, more needs to be done on TB prevention. In addition, information on the efficacy of UVGI in reducing environmental TB bacilli in health facilities in the country is scanty. This research will assist by informing policies on preventative measures for TB transmission and contribute to implementation of effective infection control strategies. It will also provide information on the status of the conditions of currently installed UVGI fixtures in healthcare settings in South Africa. The main outcome is to ensure that the healthcare workforce as well as the public is protected from environmental exposure to TB, thus reducing the disease burden which has a social and economic impact. So far we have already visited four hospitals in Gauteng province and three in the Western Cape and have found that in some healthcare facilities, the UVGI lamps are not serviced and maintained, and most of them are not working. Thus, a large investment were made, but they offer little value if not maintained properly. Mechanical ventilation installed in some of the healthcare facilities is also not working properly, and in some instances, completely non-functional. However, most hospitals rely on natural ventilation, which is also useful for infection control. Some healthcare staff are not even aware of the existence of the Occupational Health and Safety Act.